Hello boys and girls, I'm going to start reading a book um, to all of you called Fish in a Tree. Um, it is by Linda Mullally Hunt and I was told by um, a good friend of mine that it was a very good book so hopefully you guys like it. Um, so I'll read a chapter every day and after I'm done reading I'll ask you a few questions. You can pick a journal and write your answers in there, um, share them with me or Miss Whitener and we'll give you some extra dojo points. Okay. So here we go, Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullally Hunt, Chapter 1. In Trouble Again It's always there, like the ground underneath my feet. Well, Allie, are you going to write, or aren't you? Mrs. Hall asks. If my teacher were mean, it would be easier. Come on, she says. I know you can do it. What if I told you that I was going to climb a tree using only my teeth? Would you say I could do it then? Oliver laughs, throwing himself on his desk like it's a fo fumbled football. Shay groans. Allie, why can't you just act normal for once? Near her, Albert, a bulky kid who's worn the same shirt every day, a dark t-shirt that reads Flint, sits up straight, like he's waiting for a firecracker to go off. Mrs. Hall sighs. Come on now, I'm only asking for one page describing yourself. I can't think of anything worse than having to describe myself. I'd rather write something more positive, like throwing up on my own birthday party. It's important, she says. It's so your new teacher can get to know you. I know that, and it's exactly why I don't want to do it. Teachers are like the machines that take quarters for bouncy balls. You know what you're going to get, yet you don't know, too. And, she says, all that doodling of yours, Allie, if you weren't drawing all the time, your work might be done. Please put it away. Embarrassed, I slide my drawings underneath my blank writing assignment. I've been drawing pictures of myself being shot out of a cannon. It'd be easier than school. Less painful. Come on, she says, moving my line paper towards me. Just do your best. Seven schools in seven years, and they're all the same. Whenever I do my best, they tell me I don't try hard enough. Too messy. Careless spelling. Annoyed that the same word is spelled different different ways on different on the same page and the headaches i always get headaches from looking at the brightness of dark letters on white pages for too long mrs hall clears her throat the rest of the class is getting tired of me again chairs slide loud sighs maybe they think i can't hear their words freak dumb loser i wish she'd just go hang out by albert the google the walking google page who'd get a better grade than me if he just blew his nose into the paper. The back of my neck heats up. I don't get it. She always lets me slide. I must be because th these are for the new teacher, and she can't have one missing. I stare at her big stomach. So did you decide what you're going to name the baby? I ask. Last week we got her talking about baby names for a full half hour of social studies. Come on, Allie, no more stalling. I don't answer. I mean it, she says, and I know she does. I watch, a, I watch a mind movie of her taking a stick and drawing a line in the dirt between us under a bright blue sky. She's dressed as a sheriff, and I'm wearing black and white prisoner stripes. My mind does this all the time. Shows me the movies that seem so real that they carry me away inside of them. They are a relief for my real life. I steal up inside, willing myself to do something I don't really want to do, to escape this teacher who's holding on and won't let go. I pick up my pencil, and her body relaxes, probably relieved that I've given in. But instead, knowing she loves clean desks and things just so, I grip my pencil, pencil with a hard fist and scribble all over my desk. Allie, she steps forward quick. Why would you do that? The circular scribbles are big on top and small on the bottom. It looks like a tornado, and I wonder if I'm meant to draw a picture of my insides. I look back up at her. It was there when I sat down. The laughter starts, but they're not laughing because they think I'm funny. I can tell that you're upset, Allie, Mrs. Hall says. I'm not hiding that as well as I need to. She's such a freak, Shay says in one of those loud whispers that everyone is meant to hear. Oliver is drumming on his desk now. I fold my arms and stare up at her. That's it, Mrs. Hall finally says, to the office, now. 
I wanted this, but now I have, I'm having second thoughts. Allie? Huh. Everyone laughs. Again. She puts her hand. <clears throat> she puts up her hand. Anyone else who makes a sound gives up their recess. The room goes quiet. Allie, I said to the office, I can't go see our principal, Mrs. Silver, again. I go to the office so much, I wonder when they'll hang up a banner that says, Welcome, Allie Nickerson. I'm sorry, I say, actually meaning it. I'll do it, I promise. She sighs. Okay, Allie, but if that pencil stops moving, you're going. She moves me to the reading table next to Thanksgiving bulletin board about being grateful. Meanwhile, she sprays my desk with cleaner, glancing at me like she'd like to spray me with cleaner. Scrub off the dumb. I squint, a bit hoping the lights will hurt my head less, and then I try to hold my pencil the way I'm supposed to, instead of the weird way my hand wants to. I write with one hand and shield my paper with the other. I know I better keep the pencil moving, so I write the word why over and over from the top of the page to the very bottom. One, because I know how to spell it right. And two, because I'm hoping someone will finally give me an answer. So that's the end of chapter one. Um, so I have a couple of questions for you. So where is the setting of the novel beginning in chapter one? Where are they? Um, remember, setting is time and place. Um, if you want to write that in your journal, you can, or you can text it to text the answer to me or Miss Whitener for extra dojo points. Um, something else I wanted to talk about is there's this word called protagonist, and it is a feature of novels like this where a character is a good guy. So the protagonist is a good character. Um, the protagonist of this book is Allie. We haven't seen that she's a good person yet, but hopefully we will. Um, she would like to be anywhere but in school. So we haven't gotten there to exactly why she doesn't want to be in school yet, but hopefully we'll get there. Um, I want you to think back on some of your favorite books or your favorite movies and think about who are the protagonists in them and see if you can kind of make a list in your head about who the good guys were. Um, was there anything in chapter one about Allie that maybe is similar to you or is different than you? Um, I know we're not in school right now, but I know that you guys can kind of relate to Allie about how things can be difficult or hard. So you can write about that in your journal as well, how you relate to Allie and how she's the same or different than you. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll read chapter two. Bye.